from Red Zone Weather in Bruton, Alabama, with meteorologist Spinks Megenson. A severe weather update starts right now. Tornadoes and damaging winds going to become possible today into tonight. We have a level three out of five severe weather risk at the time I'm producing this video. There is a chance some of these areas may be in a level four risk by the time you're seeing this video. Hope you're having a nice start to your Wednesday. High is going to be around 72 today. Greatest chance of severe weather going to happen later today after three o'clock. Some of these storms could produce significant strong tornadoes EF2 plus tornadoes and the greatest chance of rain and thunderstorms going to come after sunset for most communities. But before we get there, there may be a few severe storms even earlier in the day. We can't completely rule out a few isolated discrete cells out ahead of the main batch of thunderstorms that set to move through our area tonight. And so have a way to get warnings throughout the day. You need something that will wake you up as we go into the overnight hours as this risk will not be completely done until around 2 a.m. Let's look at the convective outlook first. This is the latest outlook at the time I'm producing this video around 5 in the morning. We have a level 3 out of 5 severe weather risk for much of eastern Louisiana, southeast Mississippi, southwest Alabama, the Florida Panhandle, and all of northwest Florida. That includes all of our area here in South Alabama and Northwest Florida involved in a level three out of five enhanced severe weather risk. So let's look at how it may shake out. This is on the projected radar off the high res rapid refresh model. And by the time we get to noon, we may have supercell thunderstorms happening across our region out ahead of the main batch of storms, which is set to arrive later this afternoon into the evening and overnight hours. By the time we get to nine o'clock, storms going to be moving into northwest Florida and south central Alabama. And the good news is by the time we get to one and two in the morning, most of the action will be a bit to the east. And so this is just a bit faster than what we were advertising last night. It looks like we could have storms bubbling up around 10 11 AM. Some of these may be severe and producing tornadoes that would be moving off to the northeast. There's the main batch of thunderstorms by three and four o'clock moving into West Alabama, and it does look like tornadoes, some of which could be strong, will be possible in that time frame, basically from three o'clock all the way to midnight across the entirety of our local area. So have a way to hear warnings over the next several hours, really over the next 24 hours. By nine o'clock, storms entering northwest Florida and places near Andalusia and Op. And again, by 2 a.m., all of the action should be well to our east. It's a level three out of five risk day for all of our local communities here in southwest Alabama and northwest Florida. Here's an updated look at the timing situation for the main batch of thunderstorms expected this evening. 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. for uh, places back here in far west Alabama and Choctaw County and back here in Mississippi. 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. going to be the core six hour window for much of us across the region. And basically after seven o'clock for places farther to the east like Op, Crestview, Niceville, and Destin. And keep in mind, we may have a few isolated severe storms region wide, basically now until uh, we get to that core threat later today. So let's break the convective outlook down because this is what drives the categorical outlooks. Again, we're most concerned about tornadoes today. We have a 10% probability zone. That means that there's a 10% chance of a tornado happening within 25 miles of a given point in this yellow zone. And keep in mind that may not sound like much, but actually what it means is the tornado risk is 10 times greater than a normal blue sky weather day. And so a significant tornado risk today across all of our local area. And in addition, the Storm Prediction Center has included this hatched area in the zone where we could see significant EF2 plus tornadoes. And that includes all of us across the local area. So you've got to have a way to hear warnings as we get into the afternoon and evening hours, especially this goes all the way down, by the way, to Apalachicola and Port St. Joe on the east and back down into New Orleans and places like Baton Rouge on the west. So a big zone here where we could have strong tornadoes 
later today. In addition to the tornado risk, damaging straight line winds going to be possible region wide and across the southern half of Alabama. Large hail also will be a concern. And so looking at it graphically, you can see that the main concern clearly going to be tornadoes. Significant tornadoes will be possible throughout the day, particularly across southwest Alabama and southeast Mississippi, although a strong tornado or two in northwest Florida also can't completely be ruled out. By the time we get to Thursday, tomorrow, the whole system is off to our east. Much colder, drier air will be surging into our region as we get into Thursday morning. Looking at total rain amounts, probably going to have uh, one to three inches of rain in total across much of our local area. Could have some isolated higher amounts. And across the northern half of Alabama, same story, around two to three inches of rain in total with this passing system. Highs in the 70s today, but we're headed into the 60s for highs tomorrow. Ahead of highs in the 50s this weekend, much colder air arriving behind that cold front. And speaking of much colder air, look at this. Uh, this is the 8 to 14 day temperature outlook issued by the Climate Prediction Center. And it is a rare day when we see such a significant signature here at CPC advertising about a 90% chance of well below normal temperatures for much, much of the eastern half of the continental United States as we get into Christmas day. And so we very well could have very cold temperatures, perhaps highs in the 40s or 50s on Christmas day with overnight lows perhaps well below freezing. We'll focus on that with time. We got to get through this severe weather risk today into tonight. And then again, temperature is going to take a tumble. That's going to be the big weather story as we go into the weekend. Highs in the 50s, lows in the 30s. And our next rain chance after today going to likely set up in the first half of next week. That's something we'll focus on with time. By the way, we don't see anything uh, in the parameters that should suggest severe weather with that passing system as of now. Also important to mention no snow or mixed precipitation currently in the forecast. Of course, you'll hear the wild clickbait, you know, folks on Facebook going nuts about the potential for snow, but right now there's no legitimate chance of snow in the forecast at this point. Again, have a way to get warnings today into tonight. Of course, if we have tornado warnings, we'll come back on Facebook Live and bring you the very latest. Hope you have a nice Wednesday. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Be sure to find us across social media and don't forget to download the free Red Zone Weather app and set up your customized alerts. Please support our Red Zone Weather sponsors who make our coverage possible every single day.